Hello, today I want to show you how you can use uh, some of my tools to start analyzing the, the WannaCry sample, the ransomware. So I have the ransomware here and uh, some of my tools. And uh, with PE check, we can uh, have a first look at this uh, executable. Okay, so we have a high entropy, the hashes, the sections. Some of the imports. Resources. There is no signature and there is no overlay. So let's look at the resources. So with option O, we can have an overview of the resources uh, with uh, choice R, like this. Okay, and we have three resources here. One, two, three. That's an index provided by PE check so that we can uh, select uh, the file to do um, the resource for further actions. So we have a version resource, a manifest resource, and then here XIA resource. And here you have the size and here the hex dump or an ASCII dump of the start. So you can see it starts with PK, eh? PK0304. So this is an indication that this uh, is a zip file. So we will analyze this zip file. So PE check, overview of resources. We get the first resource and we dump it. And then we pipe this into zip dump to analyze the content of this zip file. Okay, we get an error, bad password for file. So this means the zip file inside the PE file, in, so uh, as a resource in the ransomware executable. So that zip file is password protected. Now my latest versions of uh, zip dump can do some simple dictionary password attacks. So let's try this. So with option P, uppercase P, I can start uh, a password uh, dictionary attack and I have to provide it uh, with a file that contains passwords uh, dictionary. But there is also a, a built-in list uh, in ZipDump and that is the same list as used by John the Ripper because that's uh, in the public domain. And you can access this with a, a simple dot like this. So this will try out about three to 4,000 passwords. Okay, but again, we get the same error, bad password for file. So that was not one of the passwords in that uh, list. So now we are going to check if maybe the, the password is in clear text as, as a string in the executable. So with my strings tool, we are going to dump all the strings in the executable. like this and we are going to write that to file passwords okay and now we are going to use zip dub again to the password cracking but instead of the built-in list we are going to use our passwords here Okay, so this was successful. So the password is indeed in clear text somewhere in the executable. 
if we want to know which one we can use another option so password file stop this option will just do a dictionary attack and nothing more and print you the password when it finds it like this okay so this is the the password that can be found inside the executable and that is the password needed to decrypt the content of uh, the zip file so we're going to do this again to have an overview of the content inside the zip file okay so we have a different uh, WannaCry files here all the messages different uh, translations of the ransomware message and here are some executables so we're 27 we have uh, the Spanish text we are going to look at that one and this one here 35 task se.exe we are going also to take a look at, uh, at that one so we start with 27 so I select 27 and I will do a dump so just print it out to memory uh, sorry to standard out okay and this is actually an RTF file okay and here you can see some Spanish text uh, that is uh, the Spanish text that is displayed by the ransomware okay so the other file was the executable task exe task se doc exe so we are mm. going to dump this and pipe this to p check like this it has a very low entropy sections here these are the hashes here some version information imports resources it has no signature and no overlays We can have a look at the strings. So, and this task SE executable is actually the executable that will enumerate the RDP sessions on the, the local Windows machines and inject the ransomware into uh, each uh, section. Session. So, I'm going to search for strings that have WTS. Sorry, it's strings.py like this. And here you have the different Windows API calls to uh, work with the sessions, like enumerate uh, the session and get uh, a session ID. Okay. 